Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. So I had a really big day today and I went to an antique mall, which you saw the haul for last night, which is just today. <laughs> and then um, we went to a Goodwill and then I went to the bins and then I went to another Goodwill. So instead of showing you the Goodwill haul first, because I usually try to go in order, I am showing you the bins haul now. Because I may or may not have some of the stuff in Thursday sale, and this way you'll have more time to have seen it. So that's that. So this is my first ever trip to the haul, to the bins. I went by myself. I was there for four hours. Um, none of that was by design. It just all kind of fell into place. And I want to go back. And I know of a different one. Like, um, that one was probably 45 minutes that way, south, southeast. And then the other one is maybe an hour north. I'm not sure how long that, how far that is. So that will be my next one. And also I had to learn a few things. Like, I didn't realize the textiles were mixed with the clothes. So I didn't dig through that as much as I will next time. And now that I know, I usually was just kind of going through the clothes after other people did. I like the stuff better. So anyway, this, I mean, I guess it's a placemat. I might use it. I, I, actually, it might be a towel. I might. It might actually be a hand towel because um, it's got that little hook thing. So that's... I know what I had designs on using it for is just like a hand towel in my kitchen. So, so that is mine. And then this will be in my, um, one of my Christmas sales, possibly the one next week. I'm going to have a Christmas blitz to, to really get it going. And, um, yeah, that's like a long runner and it's satin. And then this, you know, like they still have like prices from Goodwill on there, but that's like, um, a non, a non issue, so to speak. It's this mosquito net. So, um, I don't know what I'm, I might be selling this. I don't know yet. <laughs> I'll be honest. I don't know. I got this. It's a different kind of, of apron. You put it over your head. Okay. And then this is the waist. You know, and you just tie it around the waist and look at the skirt part of it. Isn't that cute? So. Oh, excuse me. That will be in a sale. Then I got this tiny little remnant of some Christmas holly berry stuff. You never know when you're just going to need a little extra piece of that. Um, <laughs> I got... Uh, a Bert <laughs> puppet thingy majiggy. So, don't know why exactly, but it's. And then I got these two. <laughs> I can't stop laughing about it because I've already talked to a couple people with these. And, uh,. Yeah, so I got those. Yeah. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I got this for a friend. Some of you may know who. <laughs> uh, I also got this for someone. You may know who. <laughs> 
know if I'm giving it to him so much as I think it's funny, but it's also a written book, so he might actually like that. So I thought it was funny. I love, 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 love a vintage wicker purse. So I totally love this, and I hope I can give it a good cleaning. <sighs> this is this is like Easter and summer, and I just need to clean it up and. Love it. Love it. Love it. Got this. I love. I accidentally took the strings out of here before when I was showing it to somebody. It is a, well, I mean, for lack of a better word, it's a backpack. <laughs> um, it's like a backpack. It looks like a pair of khaki pants, but it's a sack. See, and that's the bottom. And then it's got this carrier, so I could like use it at the flea market. I think that would be fun. Um, so we'll see. How that will go. I don't know. I got this because I love this so much and it's very similar to a crossbody one I have gotten. Um, crossbodies don't all work for me because of my size and so this is just, excuse me, it's really late. It's just a one shoulder which I, I like, I mean a one strap which I love and it's just the right fit. I love everything about this. Everything. Ugh, I just love it so much. This was one of the first things I put in my bag. I mean, in my cart. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I, 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 there's something about it. Um, it's gap. I don't know if that matters. I think it's super cool, but it's, it's more of like, um, like a, I want to say like a briefcase or not a briefcase, but do you know what I mean? Like, it's just big for like, you know, your, um, tablet and all that kind of stuff, but I like it cause it's got like these rivets and, um, the buckles and the pull and the inside's cool. And there's all these like, like spots and there's buttons and places for things. And it's really a neat, um, like pattern inside. And I like this about it with a big old chunky, the, ch the big old chunky, uh, whatever those are, button closures or something. Um, I don't know. It, it's just very cool to me. Oh, and it comes with chapstick. That's garbage. <laughs> Why couldn't it come with a $5 bill? <laughs> now, no complaints. Cause, uh, I, I did find a quarter in like my first three minutes there, I found a quarter. So I was like, Hey, I'm already up pretty good. So, um, yeah, there's just something about this that I really dig. And I love the color pink, but I mean, if somebody, if someone were to want to buy it, I am sure that I would be okay with that as well. Now this thing, I don't even know exactly what it is. It's a winter scene is all I can totally tell you. Um, I'm going to lay this out like tomorrow. I would do it tonight, but I'm tired. It's, it's, uh, oh, it's, it's already today. <laughs> it's just after midnight. But, um, it's like, I don't know if it's like a wall tapestry or if it's something like more of a 
a cover, uh, like a bed, bed covering or something. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's whatever you want it to be, right? But I'm going to try to get a better, like a layout of it and maybe take a picture of it. But like, see, here's like the part of a tree and some ornaments. Yeah, so it's really soft or whatever. It's, I don't know how to describe it. Oh, this got, it's got a number on it. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's like some kind of thing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure why I got this. I, it's a vest. It's a vest with fringe and and this. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure why I got it. I just did. And, you know, I'm not even sure that it really fits me. So, probably something I might be willing to sell. Because it could be, like, a cute thing for a holiday, um, well, non-party. <laughs> something of a get-together. I don't know. Um, oh, I got this. Now, uh, I didn't realize that the, uh, handle was kind of messy, but it's a Kate Spade purse, and I'm going to clean it up some, and then I'll sell it for just a reasonable price, because, I don't know, I was like, wow, I found a Kate Spade bag at the bin, so I thought that was kind of something. So, and it, it, it's kind of like wool or whatever. Gives me a, a wintry cool vibe. Yeah, I think it's neat. Even with the little bit of an issue down on the handle there. I think it's a nice bag. That I would imagine someone could enjoy. And it still has the feet on the bottom too. Um, sorry, that's a different bag. Um, okay, I got this. I thought that this would be cool for somebody's, um, made in Taiwan, for somebody's, um, Christmas decoration or for a child to play with, but I think it's cool. It's kind of like a sleigh, but it's like a rickshaw, <laughs> kind of. So, I don't know. I just thought that would be kind of a neat, you know, kind of Christmas decoration. Some like, like this Christmas decoration, and some don't. Um, so, like, probably something like this I'll be picking apart and, you know, I mean, unless somebody totally wanted it just like this. And I would sell it just like this. You know what I mean? Because then they would maybe want to tweak it and clean it and use these, use it a certain way. I mean, the, 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 the birds are a little bit damaged. Their um, flocking is a little flocked up. But, um, but these ornaments are in good shape for being those satin ornaments. They are, um, they're not like all, um, um, snagged up. So that's cool. Cool piece of, uh, winter vintage green -ery. <laughs> Okay. I have a thing for, oh, 
I got this little strawberry. Um, I'm probably going to end up sending this to my girl, Laura Melendez. Um, there's something else that goes, oh, here. I have a thing for like cool looking coffee cans. So, um, like different coffee cans. I have one downstairs that's super cool. And even if it has the writing on it, I don't care. This one was a little heavier. And I don't know if it's just because it had the lid. I don't know. These need to be cleaned up a little bit. But I thought they were cool. This one has has um, some recipes on it. Fluffy coffee frosting. Coffee mallow. Now that sounds good. Right there. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, those. And then I ended up putting some stuff in there. This is a wax melt from uh, Yankee Candle. It's um, called Vanilla Frosting. So I thought you can't go wrong with Vanilla Frosting. And this one is Christmas at the Beach, which I may regret. But you know, it's hard to tell because you can't even have a mask on, you know? Um, then I got this. I thought this was what she got, but it was her own thing. I got that. I got this, which, um, it doesn't have any kind of marking on it that I'm seeing. It is very reminiscent of the set of, um, turquoise or like aqua blue and white um, cups that I sold a couple weeks ago and but they're this color and I've never seen this color in that so I don't know it's just very mid-century ish and uh, I don't know it's like because now like at the bins you really feel like you're saving something from the landfill so I thought that was really cool <laughs> I am oh so I got these for um whatever uh it could be for um well probably I'm gonna do some more um packets ephemera packets and stuff and I'm gonna get back into junk journaling and stuff so I'll have some of these I have other ones and then I had started taking cards and then I was like wait I think I remember Nicole, like, emptying a box to get the contents of it or something, or vice versa. And I was like, okay, so why should I pay for the box if I only want the cards? So I, I like to use these cards and stuff, well, for real life and also for my packages. So, um, got some cards. And I got some string. Because I got string. Um, and I got, like, they, some of these things still have, you know, have, like, a Goodwill sticker on it from whatever they were originally from. And so I'm like, oh, I want to get that off of there because who knows how long it's, you know, already been on there. And um, it only makes it harder to get off the longer they're on there. But anyhow, this thing, I I took it because, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't even know what the heck it is. But for two reasons. One is that it's a dog, and two is that it's a dachshund. And I am, um, I need to find out more about it, but that thing that uh, Patrick the Trusty Huckster is doing... Um, for the dox, the, it's the, I, I don't think it's just a dachshund, um, well, maybe it is rescue thing, but anyhow, so I'm gonna, um, 
be donating a mystery box. And I don't know, for some reason this kind of spoke to me for something. I don't know what. It might just end up in a sale of mine. Just because my people do like um, dogs. Okay, I got... I'm going to show this and then I can put it back in here, kind of. I didn't, like, organize it the way it should have been too much. I didn't know enough. I mean, I, I did pretty good for my first time there, especially being alone. But I'll do better next time. I got this um, for my setup here. It's going to be perfect. Now that I've done this longer um, and I know what I like to have at my fingertips and stuff, this is going to be good. Yeah, I found more of these ball jar um, with the milk glass insert. So those, I got four of them I found. So, yeah. And then I got this um, baby rat. Oh, my baby. And uh, I just found some other baby rattles or something a couple weeks ago. This might be an eraser. Um, I'm sending this to my little friend in Florida. And I found this. And I just sold one last week. So, um, I might sell another one this week. I don't know. People love Avon. I mean, people, still smells pretty. Um, people love, um, owls. So, there's that. And then I got this marker because I, um, you know, for fragile. And because uh, I feel like my markers are never, I feel like they're all like running out of juice or something. Like you can barely write the word fragile without the marker starting to fade out. I don't know what the deal is with that. It's like nothing is made well anymore, you know, it's all just done kind of half, you know, and I got this hoping that I would find the pep, the salt, but I never did. So, um, I, you know, I, I was like, should I throw it back? And I thought, no, you know what? How many, I sell a lot of single shakers. And then I thought, and this is especially, um, a nicer sell, even though I honestly don't know the age of it. Um, but this one has like, um, a nice, like sentiment on it. It says grace before meals, bless us. Oh God. And these are gifts, which we are about to receive from your bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. You know, it's a prayer. And, um, so I thought that somebody might really like that. And I think somebody will. So that's that. And then I got this because I need it for Thursday. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And then, oops, I, oh, I got this bag. Um, it's an Ikea bag. I can always use more bags, but I, um, I had not brought in a bag, a bag with my, with me there, which it doesn't matter. You can take it all out to your car loose. I didn't realize. Um, but this is a cool bag. It's a good different size. And, um, I, I use a lot of my big bags and, you know, for my, uh, after my sales and stuff. So I like that bag. I got this. So I know a lot of you like, um, butterflies and um I this frame it could take it or leave it but it's in there really well and it's got this so it's almost like you'd rather just do something different to the you know like maybe it's metal or whatever plastic but you might want to like futz with the this instead or just leave it I don't know I mean Depends where you put it, you know, but this is a nice, um, 
it's different. It's like all of, everything is different, a different stitch. And then the green, part of it goes brown. They might have ran out of a thread or something. I don't know. Or whatever that is. And um, I did try to kind of pop it out. And, I mean, maybe you'll buy it and you'll pop it right the heck out and say, well, she didn't try hard. But I, I didn't try that hard. I don't want to mess it up. It's been in here a long time. And so, there. I think the colors are groovy. And that's that. So, I also got this because I looked through it and it was decent. It was clean. I was using it for something. And then I was like, you know what? Um, this might work in our, in our bathroom. I have one in there now. This one might work better. And then I can use the other one in my bedroom. Or I thought Jack maybe wanted one for something. I don't remember. So I grabbed it. So then, um, I found, oh, let's see, I found this, and it, it, I believe it was 1975, but then I was like, well, wait, am I looking at the last year or the next year? So... I don't know why this is like double thick. Maybe it's supposed to pull out a certain way. So let me check here and I don't know what year it is. Some of the dates are circled. Oh, my knee. Oh. Mm. Um. Oh. One year at RCNB. Pink dress with rib bust line. Okay. Anyway, it's a calendar for... It's a Hallmark calendar. And it's 1975. And, like, I just think that if you were born in 1975 then I think that you might like something like this, you know, just because I don't know. It's cool to, I, I would like a 1966 calendar. I don't know. I think it would be cool. It's all these little mice and stuff, little scenes and stuff. So it's really cute. <clears throat> then I found this and it's a 1979 calendar. Except this is a Holly Hobby calendar, and it's a Holly Hobby cookbook calendar. So it's got like, um, oh, May, my fifth, my month. Um, and it's got a little picture, and, you know, she's watering the plant. And it says, love is good for growing things, whether large or small. Flowers, plants, and animals, and people, most of all. And then there's a, a, a recipe for garden string bean casserole. I'm not a fan. Um, now, in 1979, I would have been becoming a teenager. <laughs> May 23rd was a Wednesday. I became a teenager on this day because 1966 so 1979 right yeah so anyhow sourdough sugar cookies chicken loaf mm, salmon patties apple fritters yeah turkey in the straw soup oh but that's a cute picture really cute um Banana oatmeal cookies. It's just really cute. And it's highly heavy. And then I got this. Because, you know, wrapping paper. I grabbed 
the all that wrapping paper I grabbed this um tissue paper and this tissue paper and this tissue paper and this tissue paper <laughs> really exciting and then I got more cards and those will be good for the like upcoming because and then I got this for you know um packaging and this for packaging or Christmas or whatever just we'll see Oh, I got this for Valentine's. I'll probably be able to sell those in lots of a few or something like that. And I got this um, Thunder shirt for Bella. Um, to be honest, I should have looked at it. Didn't. And it's got dog hair on it, which, I mean, makes sense. They probably tried it and it didn't work. Um, so I, I would imagine you can... Thunder patch. I, w I would imagine you can wash this. Um, but yeah, so here's the Thunder shirt. And it's great for thunder, fireworks, separation anxiety, leash pulling, car and air travel. Barking and licking. Barking. Hmm. So I'm going to look into this and see because it was, it, it's, it seemed like it was the right size. Um, so it opened from the bottom. I'm, they definitely did not do that. Um, yeah, it's the perfect size for her. And, um, So there's a thing that you can, this is new too, because it's got this on there. <laughs> I mean, can't be too old anyway. Um, so you can read about how this works. I didn't even realize it was good for all these other things too. So, um, you know, she's not the worst, but she's definitely, uh, she definitely reacts to, especially like fireworks and stuff. She does not like that. Um, I'm gonna sell this. It's got the tags on it or whatever still. So it'll either be in my sale or, you know, if somebody's got a Harley guy that he wants that or a pert kid or whatever. Otherwise, I'll look into, um, um, you know, eBay. And then... Well, I got this bag again because I didn't know and so I just you know found the bag I got this book because I don't know it's a vintage book and it might be of interest to somebody I think play-doh and um, again I buy like things like this because I use these and these were um, just some um, post-it notes then I, I got this I thought this was super 70s trivet cool colors right um, and then I didn't find the pack but I found several cards that had Schlitz on it I found this opened package of cling wrap and I I mean, there's enough in there. I actually don't have any cling wrap. I ran out because my thing got all wacky. And um, I was like, well, you know what? Let me just... I'll, I'll take it. I don't care what color it is. I don't use it all the time. But 
Then I found this, and I knew what it was. Ah. And that's marked on the bottom, by the way, Tupperware. And then I found this. Super cool. Um, and then my daughter, um, when she came home this weekend, um, or when she came home recently, she left her blow dryer at school. Um, and so it was no big deal. She just used mine, but then they were going to Ohio for their cousin's wedding and she took my blow dryer. Well, it wouldn't have been a big deal, except then all of a sudden I had a date and so I had to work it out. But then on Monday I was like, Oh, no problem. I'll have my thing when I do. Well, she took it back to school with her <laughs> accidentally. So I had to get a blow dryer and so I got to clean this up, but I tested it. It was only, it only ended up being like 63 cents. So I'll take that. And it's Revlon. And I think mine, one of my older ones was a Revlon, maybe even the Revy. So I don't remember. And then, oh, I'm missing one of my buttons. Oh, it must have just fallen out of something. But I um I found this button on a purse and I took it off. There were like a bunch of women's something or other pins on there. And um but I saw this one and I thought um that it was cool. And I took it off of there because see again that's like a thing I learned from um Nicole North Garden is that you can just, you know, like kind of undo something. You don't have to, like, accept it the way it is. Oh, I still got more stuff. So then I still got a few more things here. I got this bag, which I love, 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 love. I love feathers. Love that look. And I got more, um... More of those cards. Like, I just tried to grab as many as I found. Then, um, I grabbed these thank you cards. And then I grabbed this. It's like a, it's like, what do you call it? A, a brag book. A grandparent's brag book. It says, speaking of the grandchildren. So, I think that's super cute. I'll take the sticker off. And, um... Stickers, I'm telling you what. I should have peeled them off while I was there waiting. See, I just tore the whole thing. That's right. This is, this needs to be cleaned up. This is dirty. But, um, this is a vintage, obviously. Um, and oh my gosh, the set of dishes in there is like amazing. Um, it's a revolving cup rack it's it's so cool because you see the picture on here and then like are you seeing the picture yeah and so here it is and it's got like the screws in there so you can do that and I was like what that is so cool and then look at that I love that pattern. So this is something that's super cool. I think somebody will like to get that. This was like totally loose, this one. It's not even, it's like out of a game box actually. It's not even normal, like a normal bingo card. There's another Schlitz card. I mean, it's just weird that I only found a handful of those. Um, but, oh, there's that other pin. Found this, this deck of cards. And 
I found this deck of cards for my, I'm going to give it to my little friend. If he like, hopefully he'll like something like this. I don't know. Um, I'm going to count the cards and make sure they're all there. They have all different characters on them. The numbers are big. The graphics are cool. Um, I don't really know what he's into, but I got this. Love it. Cool, cool, cool. You know you'll be seeing that. And this is the other pin that I got. You can't really see it too good, but it's a Hillary Clinton button. Got that. Got this string. And a bag. And then I got this. Um, it's just a a tie dye like a bandana, I guess. It's a hundred percent cotton. But you know how I like to do and then do. <laughs> I'm not touching it until it's washed. And then okay, you saw all these things. I love that. I'm so excited. And then I got this suitcase, which was very hard for me to to shut. And there's, you know, a chance that I probably should not have shut it because I don't have a key, but, and you know what? I just realized there was another thing I got, or was that a Goodwill? That might've been a Goodwill. I hope. Um, so I don't know <laughs> if I'm going to. Be able to open this or not it doesn't matter because I like it closed anyway um I might add it to the pile I don't know I don't because it would probably go under the good the best my best one there um and it's not of the same color scheme so that's the other reason I don't know. We wait a little bit to, you know, be adding it to my haul or my, um, all of my loot. But, um, to me it was worth, you know, whatever it weighed. I don't know. I think I could use it in, in like other places in my house, um, or living room or whatever. Anyhow, if I decided not to add it to the pile. I just liked it. I had never seen like just a black one. It's in pretty good condition. I can clean it up. So anyway, that was it. You guys, I spent $33.74, I believe. Plus I found a quarter. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, it was fun. I only, I went by myself. Um, I didn't, you know, I didn't know if I was going to go by myself because I wasn't sure if my new friend was going to go with me or not. And, um, you know, I mean, we just got to know each other, so maybe she wouldn't want to stay for four hours. My back did hurt for certain periods of time, and then I would just kind of lean. Um, and you could take breaks, you know, or you can leave. And they sell snacks and water, you know, but I'm, I didn't buy that. I, I should have taken a water with me. I do remember uh, seeing something online about when you go to the bins, blah, blah, blah. But um, whatever. I was there for four hours, though. And so you want to make sure, if you do go, to go with someone. I mean, if you go with someone, make sure it's someone that's not going to mind. Because I'm not, I'm, I don't want to be looking at the clock. If I'm, unless I, I want to go when I have time to not worry about what time it is. So, um, 
Yeah, and I definitely, I will, sh I would show you the gloves, but trust me, you don't want to see them. They're like whitish with like a glitter and at the end of the, yeah, they were gross. So that's a, one reason why you need to wear gloves to the bins. Um, I didn't ever have a problem with anything sharp. I did, however, have a couple times where like there was an, a lotion that was maybe opened. Um, you know, but I didn't really get anything on me because I had the gloves. So maybe a little bit got on the gloves, but not anything that I could really feel. So, um, I wish I would have gotten there earlier. I didn't get there till two o'clock. So next time I would plan to go early. Um, not sure if the weekends would be fun to go because people, <laughs> I just imagine that there would be more people. It, I thought it was pretty good. Um, they, you, they, I don't know how it is normally, but they limit you to one person per bin now because of the, you know, pandemic. And so that kind of seemed like it would be a good idea anytime because then it kind of like gives you a chance to go through a bin without somebody else like kind of snooping it up on your biz. But I kind of like the, you know, have added kind of mentality of it. But I like that they did have some, like, control over it. So I don't know if it ever will go back to however, whatever way they did it before. But I think it's pretty respectful and everybody was pretty, pretty good about it to me. I only, there was one time I was looking in a bin where somebody kind of snooped up in it. But she was plenty of space away from me there almost everybody's pretty well social distanced you know I mean as much as you do in normal you know what I mean and everybody had masks on so it was a lot of fun I am looking forward to going to the other one that I know of in Wisconsin and um I don't know. Um, it was just cool. And I, I like, I learned and I talked to a couple people like every now and then I was like, it's my first time here. And you know, like I, you know, not like a dummy cause I, you know, done my research so or sort of, you know, but like just to kind of get certain information or whatever. And so, um, I didn't have any, uh, faux pas on my part. Um, I don't think I missed out on anything except one thing that I could see. And honestly, by the, when I was seeing it, I thought I was seeing it in a bin, but then upon closer observation, it looked like it was in somebody's cart um, there were people that knew that were known there. The people knew their names and, um, you know, all the flippers were there and stuff. Like there was guys there looking clothes and stuff and women that looked, I mean, women that looked way more basic and, and regular than me picking up like a Louis Vuitton purse and stuff. You know, how real it is, I don't know. I did find a real coach bag. Um, that poppy. Oh, it was kind of cute. It was kind of big. And there was something about it that didn't... And aside from the fact that it's just not my thing... I mean, I bought purses. You see, I bought purses. I bought a purse that's vintage. I bought a purse that's me. Two, three, whatever, that are me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, um, I didn't know that textiles were mixed in with clothes. That was my biggest downfall, I guess, because I would have liked to have um, tried to find more of that. But then, like I said, I, I would kind of walk through and look over... I almost got an afghan that was in really good condition, like brand new. It, But it was like three different shades of pink. But it was like three weird shades of pink. Like a dusty rose and a 
almost mauve and like then there was this weird green through it and then there was like an ivory and it was like all these like ugh, er, late 80s early 90s colors or something I don't know it was such a well done afghan but these colors were just not getting it for me I mean if it was like red white and blue or red and green or something that I could tie to a holiday you know that would have been all right but yeah, I, that pink was going to be a hard sell because it was like a, like not attractive shades of pink. So, um, yeah, I realize these are not all fantastic items to some people. Um, but it's like when you look at the volume of stuff and then it's like, yeah, $33 or $34. I mean, hello, you know, that's that purse, that sack roots purse. I don't know how much that would cost at a department store. More than $30, I think. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll make my money back on a couple of these items. So that'll pay for everything. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I got things for me, I got things for my business, I got things for home use, um, I got things for other people, and um, yeah, I, I, I think it was a good, I got a good um, cross section of items, I suppose is the right word to put, a good mix, good balance. And um, I don't know. I just love it. I really, really did. I really, really liked it. So, um, anyway, um, make sure you give me a thumbs up on this and, um, make sure you're subscribed. If you tell me down below, if you have or haven't been to the bins, if I don't know if you have bins or if you don't, I mean, like, I don't consider me to have bins because I had to go like wherever it was. I was already halfway there where I was at. So, I mean, it's probably like a 45 minute drive for me because I didn't drive straight home either. I stopped on the way home at another, you know, Goodwill. And like I said, that other one I think is about an hour away. I might, my daughter goes to college further and I might even say, hey, you want to meet me there? It's better than you think. I saw some clothes. I mean, I saw name brand clothes, but you know, you can't buy clothes for an 18 year old girl anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you just can't. <laughs> but they had a lot of cute clothes too. It's just that I am not a size small. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I mean, I even saw a couple of sizes, uh, you know, my size things. It's just, I just not a clothes person too much. And didn't need things. So yeah, so it was cool. And yeah, just tell me your experience with the bins and all that kind of stuff. So I will uh, be posting another Goodwill haul, regular Goodwill haul, back to life, back to normal. Um, Thursday morning before my sale. And then anything that I got tonight at that last Goodwill, that'll be Friday's haul video. So that will not be in the sale for this week. I try to only do any, anything that I, I have in a video through Thursday morning is what's in my sale. So you don't see something after it's already been sold, generally speaking. I mean, if you watch the video later, but I'm saying if you watch the video that day, you're on target. So, oh, and I forgot my best bot, my best find, my favorite thing at the bins, a dream pet. Oh, and it problem is it might be the same one that I found at that rummage sale a few weeks back, but got the tag. It's got a tail. It's got a little sack. If it would have been a reindeer one, I would have probably passed out. 
Um, I officially am collecting dream pets now because um, a very sweet viewer slash subscriber friend friend um, sent me four dream pets and I didn't do an opening but I'm gonna do like a um, what I've gotten from you know in the mail kind of a uh, video one of these days soon because I'm cleaning this all up and now I've just made a bigger mess but um yes when I saw this I was like oh I mean literally I gasped out loud for that one so this is my favorite thing and um I don't even like mice but I love him so much so anyhow that's it everybody thank you so much and I will see you on the next one bye